Well, hi there! This is DBT, and alright, it's time to continue playing some more Doom Eternal, and oh boy, have I been itching to play some more of this game. I think that my massive plan has been working to kinda... Uh, oh, well, I cannot stand on top of that? Okay. My master plan to kinda get back into the feeling of the game has been uh, successful, because yeah, I wanted to play this game, and I was like, oh yeah, that was fun, I should play a little bit more. Um, but alright, um, I'm gonna talk in this video a little bit about what... Right, that did... Never mind. Um, I'm, I'm gonna talk a little bit about what happened in the previous, regarding the previous video and all of that. But first, let me do this this fight, because I know that this fight can get a little bit hairy. And remember that I am basically a noob at the game again, so it takes a little bit for me to 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 warm up into it and then to not play absolutely terrible. So, I mean, I'm playing bad, but trust me, I can play way worse. So. What? Oh, come on, dude. What? Is there we go. Let me move on this side and let me use my. Whoa! Whoa! No! No! My fuel! Oh, did that just spend all of my fuel? Oh, that's bullsh. Oh man! All right, all right, it's fine, it's fine. So, yeah, I, I, that is one thing that I definitely got very used to. To Karen took, and I really, really look from all of the changes that I've done in Karen took. I understand that a lot of them are just my my uh, subjective way of doing things on how I like things being done and whatnot. But one change that I I still say that it's objectively a good change that I did over there that I wish Doom Eternal had implemented at some point is the variable fuel required to change a monster based on their health level. Like if you have a monster that is very weakened out, for example, in, in Karen Chuk, um Oh, that's right, I can do this, I forgot. Uh, you know what? I think this isn't it better than it was before. But anyway, um, in 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 Karen took pretty much any monster that you have at uh, you have staggered, uh, staggered right? That's the orange shine. Yeah. Um, once you have a monster staggered, no matter what monster it is, it's still gonna take only one point of fuel to to chainsaw it because well, it's weakened out, you know. And I I don't know. I really like that that idea because it makes it so that well yeah i weakened this monster i need some ammo okay it's not gonna take all of my fuel like that that um hell knight just did but oh well whatever um yeah so i'm gonna talk a little bit more about what happened with the previous video the comments the reception and all of that stuff but again let me just finish this this fight and we'll get on with it actually i think the fight is pretty much over isn't it maybe not is there anything else to do Ooh, there we go lovely <clears throat> um, so, alright, what happened in the previous video? Well, first of all, the, the, what I want to say, guys, is thank you very much. Thank, thanks to every one of you that left a comment over there, except for the few that I did remove. Um, but the incredible majority of people uh, leaving comments over there were very, very supportive, and I really appreciate you for, for all of that. Um, now, I will reply to the comments in text form, but I wanted to 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 first make a video um, just talking about the overall feeling of the thing because I think it's better if you listen to me saying it uh, than you know just reading the, the the replies to the to the comments. But yeah, it's it's been really really amazing for me to see um, how supportive a lot of you guys are, and maybe this is indeed a, a situation where well you know that normally what is negative tends to sticks out much more than the positive, and then there's another. Uh, I guess the corollary, or is that what you said? I don't know, whatever. The, the other point is that also the most negative um, people, the most negative, let's call them negative Nancys, tend to be the loudest ones. So, like I said on the previous video, there's definitely been a, a, a decent bunch of, of negative comments, whether deserved or not. Um, in, in, in the previous Karen took showcases, you know, like, like, hey, why are you taking so long? And oh my god, there's blah, 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 blah. just say that it's cancelled already. Why are you making me wait? All of that stuff, right? So I've seen those comments, and maybe because, like I was saying, the negative people are the ones that tend to be the loudest. They're the ones leaving the comments. There's, It's not like the positive people are going to randomly, I don't know, where be like, hey, DBT, you're taking a while, but I appreciate your work. So take your time. So that doesn't happen. And I'm not saying that it should happen. What I'm saying is that the negative does happen a lot more. So I think that kind of maybe biased my, my perspective a little bit to be like, oh, maybe people are all, maybe everyone is too tired and, uh, and, and, and annoyed at waiting or waiting. At, oh, wait a second. There, isn't there a, yes. There is. 
Um, so yeah, maybe gave me a skewed perspective on it. And just seeing you guys posting all of those comments on the previous video, um, really, you have no idea what it means to me to, to see that the community doesn't, not all the community hates me. <laughs> so uh, thank you guys, I really mean it. Um, but yeah, it's it's really been really cool. Also, uh, again, you guys been being understanding that, you know, yeah, IRL. Um, IRL stuff normally is kind of out of your control, so you gotta, oh god, you gotta deal with stuff that comes your way when it comes your way and you don't have much of a choice. So, <coughs> again, I appreciate you all for it. And, um, yeah, no, it's, it's really, really, uh, something, uh, for me to see that. Um, and, like I said, it, it works in, uh, in, in two ways. One, the video worked for me to be like, oh yeah, I, I do like first person shooters. Who would have known? I enjoy playing this. That those okay, for a moment I thought those were teeth, but no, I see it's like a rib cage. Um Yeah, it, it, I'm like, oh yeah, I do actually like first person shooters. Since how that shooting stuff that i I love doing for so many years, it's something that I who would have known. I like doing. Um but also again, like I said, to to realize that, well, <laughs> Not everybody is those negative people. Um, it, it also makes me be like, oh man, I feel like, yeah, I, I should get back to the whole thing. Now, again, <coughs> let the record show. I'm being as clear as I can about me not making promises at the moment. I'm making zero promises that, oh yeah, now I'm going to start working on it right away. No, that's not what's happening. Like, a, all right, you know what? Eat it. Like I said on that video, my, my plan is to play a bunch of first person shooters. To, to get back into the feeling of it. Because I think that is what I need. Um, I need to... What? Um, I need to get back into the rhythm of playing these games, getting ideas. You know, all of that stuff. Because if... And some of you caught on this pretty quickly. That... Um, if I don't enjoy... If I don't find myself... Um, oh, yes, yes, yes. The few zombies that blocked that door. I remember that now. Um, if I don't, if I'm not in the mood of playing first-person shooters, I'm not going to be much in the mood to work on a project that has to do with first-person shooter, right? <coughs> I think that makes sense. And again, just being able to play this, just play in general, makes it, makes it, um, suddenly that much more enticing. And like I said, again, for the, for the 12th time in this video... I am not making promises as to the, the progress on Karen Took. And yeah, it's resuming right at this moment, but you know, the objective is indeed to play over here a little bit and see what I can do. Get back in love with first person shooty shooties boom boom. Why not? Now, <clears throat> a completely off topic, uh, well, a, a completely, yeah, off topic topic, I guess, um, is that, man, I'm not gonna lie, I had to record the intro to the previous video and to this video like three times. Because I keep on saying the intro to my other channel. Because I have a very specific intro over there. And I don't know. It just feels weird to not say... Uh, um, uh, uh, what would I say? A uh, What do you call it? When someone does one thing constantly, it becomes its... Like its signature. Yeah, like my signature intro, at least for the other channel. It feels weird to not have a signature intro. Though I guess my signature intro here has always been like... Well, hi there, you know that kind of thing but i don't know it just feels weird but yeah i basically messed up the the intro to this video a couple of times and like oh jesus christ never mind take two. Oh crap i messed up again it, it gets weird because in one i start with uh hi there and the other one i start with hello there and i make a big you know uh, to me it it makes it, it's important to not break tradition so i don't know whatever um but oh well so oh this is the place that i was confusing for the other one isn't it maybe yeah, you remember that in the previous video, in some place I was like, oh, but how do I get... Oh, yes, 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 yes. This is what I wanted to do. So now I have more drops of armor from the enemies, and on top of that, I did get, well, my my ammo from the previous time that I activated those things, and now I got some extra health. So that's kind of dope. Um, but yeah, this is the place that I got confused in the other... No, wait, it wasn't the same level just earlier. Okay, whatever. Okay. Man, I completely forgot this type of cinematics existed. <coughs> and yeah, sorry for the coughing. The coughing continues. The coughing will probably never go away. I, I've been dealing with it for the past, like, three months or so. Um, it just refuses to go. 
And I have taken a bunch of, of meds for it. Is it dead yet? Yeah. I've taken a bunch of meds for it and... Look, I was, uh, like, like I mentioned in that other video, I was sick, uh, I think it was around, probably was around the end of November or very early December that I got sick. And, you know, it was a, a res respiratory thingy infection or something. I don't know. The point is that I also got a cough and whatnot, uh, an infection on the throat, you know, all, all of that type of nonsense, right? But um, I got better. It's, it, it was nothing serious, nothing too serious, really. I got better and um, yeah, everything seemed nice except that the, the cough never never left. And to this day, I still have this cough and it's really annoying because I keep on coughing often when I'm recording. Wait, is this the way out? Yes. Okay, uh, this is the place where there is a secret, right? With the textures being upside down reference. Because in the... in Doom 26, if you don't know the... Okay, you know what? Let's go to the secret. I think it was... Where was it? Is it not here, maybe? I am not sure. Oh, it's over there. I, I think I see it. It must be here. <clears throat> yes, there it is. Aha. Uh -huh. So, this is a reference to... <coughs> To, to, in Doom 2016, they added those those remakes of the old levels, right? As secret uh, levels and what? Oh, Jesus, how do I get up there? Um, am I gonna die? Okay, there we go. But, uh, they kind of mess, messed up a little bit in the texture. Some of the textures, the starting textures, were upside down. Which, obviously, for the for someone that doesn't isn't super, 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 super familiar with it, that hasn't been playing the game for the past... 20 years almost you know not daily but maybe every week or whatever yeah that that is a forgivable mistake that you wouldn't really realize that oh yeah it's it's upside down but for those people like us that used at least when i used to play the game a lot and see that texture pretty much daily and all of that yeah it was like oh my god isn't it obvious that it's upside down um so yeah i think that that easter egg that i just looked at or that secret is precisely just as a as a bit of a mug or a way of laughing laughing about the fact that yeah yeah okay now we know that it was upside down don't get so worked up here it is and get happy about it i am afraid of going over here because <clears throat> i do remember that these things are very very challenging and i don't know that i have the skill level for that right now so i'm gonna do a couple of attempts but if it really gets too difficult for me i might have to leave it aside because you know old man dbt cannot aim good no more um but let's see what we can do. Now, maybe the first one isn't... Oh, no, wait a second. Isn't, isn't this the one that has a bunch of revenants? Yes, it's this one. Okay. Okay. I'm going to shut up a little bit over here, too. Oh, oh crap. Uh, I forgot I needed another... One of these to, to get my blood on. Oh, oh, oh! Belch not ready, Belch not ready. Belch ready, Belch ready. Uh. Right, fine. I said that I don't love the sticky bumps specifically for... Um... Skako Demon Annihilation. I prefer to... That that's possible only with the frag grenade. But I still like the sticky bombs as a little explosive because it's useful for dealing with crowds. So yes, I, it's not that I straight up hate um, some some modules. It's that I hate how reliant I can become on just using them in order to make my life. Oh good. Bye. I did not remember there was a red knee. <laughs> Oh Jesus! Oh, okay, we're fine. I, I was totally legit trying to use the the auto. Okay, oh, the full auto, but I forgot I, that I had switched to. Oh, <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm not panicking. You are panicking. I got no ammo for that. 
Oh god, I'm gonna die. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a total of three attempts. All right, three attempts, and if I if I can't do it, then I might go try to finish the level and then come back to this and see if I can do it. Let's do it. Now I I just realized that I did not use my plas plasma. Oh god. My plasma rifle at all in that previous attempt, so that's probably something that I could improve in my second attempt. Also being a bit more cognizant of my blood punches. There we go. And boom shakalaka! There we go. Another one, thank you. Do we get a big monster yet? Not yet? Okay, good. Then, yeah, let's go with this. Is that a bit of any explosive for good measure? Yeah, man. I know that I don't, I didn't need to do the the glory kill there, but you know, it's a, it's a little bit of time in which enemies stop attacking you, so it's like the chill moment. Like take a breather. I think the big monster should be coming. Coming up anytime now. There it is. Hello, big boy. How you doing? So let's see. Let's bring him to the slightly more open place. Uh oh. What uh oh? I think he's underneath me there. There you are. You're not dead yet. What? Man, you do be a bit of a of a beefy boy. Whoa! Wait! Wait a second. Oh, did I blow up a... Was that a barrel? Can anybody confirm if that was a barrel? Because... Oh, man, there's more than... Oh, man, I thought there was only one of these dudes. Because <clears throat> if that wasn't a barrel blowing up, then it means that a monster kill with the plasma rifle does have some AoE um, damage. So... Okay, I did not have enough of that. <clears throat> Okay. Yeah, that's 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 why I keep saying that I wanted to come back to the game a little bit to remember what it what it is because I I legit don't remember if there was AOE damage on the plasma rifle. I don't even know if I have AOE damage on Karen too. Maybe I do. I don't remember. Oh well, whatever. See, this is how you know that I am completely out of my element here, which is kind of sad. This is, like I said, and I think I did say in the previous video that I, I, I put so many hours into this game when it came out. So many hours. Now I never got super good to the level of, you know, the insane. Did I beat it? Did I beat it? There's someone still alive. Oh. Alright, fine. I'm trying to switch to the to super shotgun to hook into the monster. Let's go, bub bub! All right. See, never doubted myself. I knew I was gonna be able to do this. Of course. What you think I am a noob or something? <laughs> um. What was I saying? Oh man. Oh. So yeah, I still have this this moment of what? What? What was I talking about? Who knows? Let's move on. Um. The betrayer's life signal is nearby. Oh, this is when we see the other dude. Okay, okay. Isn't there like a something around here? A plushie? One of the toys? Am I misremembering? Oh yeah, it's right here, right? Where? Ah, there it is. Yeah, I knew it, I knew it. I'm like, I remember very vividly being around here and getting one of the toys. But Can you tell that I was... I don't remember perfect. Okay, here we go. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna watch this one because I want to make sense a little bit of the story again. Again, the, the first the uh, the first cinematics on the previous video I, I didn't care for. I've watched it a million times. I've already watched this a bunch of times too, but I don't remember it. I told you all to leave me here. I am where I belong.
Yeah, yeah. Saving your people will not bring you peace. Only make the burden you carry worse. That voice sounds familiar. Like I've heard that voice actor somewhere. Else. And now you seek to defy the con maker herself. It is your people's time now to give penance, just as it was mine. Hmm. Hear me, Slayer. When his heart is laid to rest, then his soul will be at peace. And so will mine. Oh! Oh, isn't he like... Like the dad of the thing that becomes the icon of sin or something? I, I really don't remember. See why I'm saying that I need to... I completely forgot about that. Oh, man. And, and that really annoys me even more. I don't know if I said this in the previous video or not, but... This is one of the things that really bothers me about this entire series of, of Doom 2016 with Doom Eternal and the, the DLC or the expansions or whatever, it, or whatever it is. I really like where they were going with the story. I really did. I loved it. Doom 2016 did the world building really cool. Then this one expanded upon it. I really liked the whole idea of the makers and the semi heaven type of thing and all i i loved all of that all of that i thought it was fantastic i i really liked it but then when the second dlc what did what it did with the story i was like oh my god yeah. and i've been i've been so away from from the entirety of the doom community even including obviously doom eternal and whatnot uh, oh god okay i was without dash anymore um I've been so... Oh, wait a second. Isn't there like a secret there? There's an extra life, but... Uh, I'm gonna go there just in case. No, wait, that's a... No, that's a regular path. Never mind. Um, I've been so so away from, from this whole thing that I don't really know. What was the reception of, of people? If anybody over here can tell me, what was the reception to the DLC's story? Because, again, I, I just straight up hated it. I, I hated it. I hated the retconning of the story. It was going for Doom 2016, for Doom Eternal, for the Ancient Gods Part 1. The, 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 it seemed that the story was going in one way, and then in the second DLC, they were like, nope, nope, never mind. We check, nope, it's something else. What you thought it was true for all this time, it's not true at all. <laughs> we gotcha. Oh, man, I don't know. I hated it. Am I alone in this, or did anybody else find it annoying? I probably ranted about this. Oh, wait a second, there's a quad. But hold up, hold on. There was a strat over here to make the most out of the quad damage. And I think it was not using it right away. Because I do believe that later the, the fight gets a little bit crazier. And that is when the quad damage is the most useful. Um, okay. So yeah, I'm sure I, I ranted about this whole thing in, in my playthrough of the thing that I did like three years ago, however long it was. Um... But, well, it's been so long that I don't even know what I said back then, so who knows? <laughs> I'm telling you, it's weird for me to come back to... Oh, Jesus Christ! feels weird for me to come back to doing all this type of thing, because it feels familiar, and yet it feels like it was a, a lifetime ago. So, I don't know. And, by the way, so, I did say that I, I, I wanted to make this into a playthrough, and I, I think I will. But, yeah, expect... This type of low quality content over here where it's just me rambling about whatever comes to mind as I'm playing Because that's what I do, but if you know my my channel from the olden times, you know that that's exactly how it's always been So in a sense, I guess it's just coming back to normality or something. I don't know Oh wow I didn't remember that That um that glory kill Let the record show I'm not trying to destroy his turrets. I'm just trying to... Just trying to um, kill him with guns, like you do. Oh, and by the way, in, in the previous video about this whole thing, um, someone in the comments was telling me, like, maybe I am a little... I don't remember the exact word, 
But yeah, I, I was told like maybe I'm I'm a little bit too biased with my distaste for the ammunition situation in this in this game. I want to make clear that I I acknowledge that everything that I talk about about the things that I feel the game did wrong, it's extremely sub subjective. It's just the way that I personally see it. I'm not saying that I'm 100% right, except on the topic that I mentioned earlier on the. Uh... There's another. Yeah, there it is. Oh no! And it ran out. Oh Jesus! Except on the topic of the weekend monsters using less less fuel for the chainsaw. But yeah, everything else that I talk about, it's my very subjective view. Is he's in that? What? I thought I killed it. Okay. Everything it's incredibly subjective. It's the way that I see things. I'm not saying that. Oh, Doom Eternal did it wrong. Maybe I have said that before because I have been very vocal about things that I don't like in the past. That I'm talking again years and years ago so maybe I've, been, I've said that before i want to correct if that is the case i want to correct and say that in my very personal subjective opinion and how i like things in games i don't like it i don't think it's a good thing but again that's just me that's the way that i see it you don't necessarily have to agree with me and yeah that is why um i decided amongst other, other reasons to create um karen took i mean if i had ever finished it <laughs> Uh, to, to, oh geez, I keep, I keep on holding the button to have the map open, forgetting that I only need to press it one. It's a toggle, it's not a hold to, to view map. Um, what was I saying? I don't know, let's get to the next map. I did miss some stuff, but like I said, I, I don't want to go full completionist over here. Um, it's fine, I just want to make some more progress and keep on going. Um, I'm not gonna be finishing or ending the videos on, oh, I finished this level, it's done. No, I'm gonna... I'm gonna stop at whatever point if I feel like it's all right. I, I don't even remember what is the best case scenario for 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 duration of videos over here. Half hour, one hour. I don't know, what do you guys think? Why, why don't you give me some feedback? What is, what is more digestible? Content every few days of one hour or content more often of maybe half hour? The second Hell Priest is located in the Northern region of Earth. I will calibrate the portal now. Okay. Oh, I remember the next map is the icy one. Locked off due to power constraints. Once power has been restored, you will be able to access the entire ship. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, so now I get to explore it a little bit. Yeah. What is this? Uh, oh, that is to restore the power, duh. I was thinking, isn't there something where Sentinel energy levels rising? Re-establishing power to core and supplementary systems. Man, it's been so long that I don't even remember what the... Oh, it's for this, isn't it? I was gonna say, I, I don't remember what the... the. I don't even know what... See, I don't remember what things are called anymore. That that challenge room that I did with the, with the key and... That I said that I was gonna try three times. Whatever that thing is called that I don't remember what it's called. Um, I, I, I don't quite remember. What are those keys for? Is is that for um, getting the Unmaker? I think that's what it is for, right? Man, I'm telling you, it's been so, so damn long since I've done any of this. That And, and look, to a certain extent, it's kind of fun to revisit a game that you haven't played in a very, 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 very long time. Because a bunch... Oh, hello. A bunch of things feel suddenly new. It's like, oh man, well, maybe not new, but it's it's a little bit like rediscovering stuff. Nice. It's like, not too long ago I was playing uh, Portal 2, the co-op. Wait, where am, I, where, where am I supposed to go now? Um, oh, do I need to go to the training room thingy? Is that what it is? Um, I was playing Portal 2 again after so long that I hadn't played it, specifically the co-op, and I'm like, oh man, this is fun. And again, because I hadn't played it in a while, I did not remember how to do a bunch of things. And I'm like, oh yeah, it's like rediscovering it again. That's nice. Um, why did it open again? There we go. Weep! Oh, that, that's another thing that I feel we, well, I don't know, maybe it's just a me thing. But I, I did hope that, not because I think this was a core, it, it was going to be a core experience of the game or anything. But I did hope that we were going to see maybe a mech, uh, use a mech, even, you know, not not like a, what was that, that movie called? 
Pacific Rim, which is precisely where Hugo designed um, the mechs for, I think. I may be making this up, but I think that's what it is. Um, so it's not that I was expecting something to that, that scale, but I was hoping for a bit more action with those things in the DLC, but nope. Instead, they decided to butcher the story. I'm sorry! I cannot get over that. It's just one of those things that... It bothers me. It hurts me a little bit. Here we are. Also, there was a reason that I didn't like this room. I, I, I thought I liked the idea of this room a lot, but then... I remember there was something that I ended up not liking too much about this room, like... Oh, because I think you can only visit it once every time that you come here, right? Or not? It's not like you can do it unlimited times. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm telling you, all of this... It's odd. It's familiar, but it is it is strange. Weird, I tell you. And by the way, speaking about videos on the channel, I want to be also... Um, at the same time that I'm playing this, I'm going to start uh, some other video, a small video series uh, for the sake of playing something a bit more old school. So uh, I'm going to be probably switching games. Um, but like I said, I, I want to make it where I post much more often compared to how it used to be before. And I'm not talking about it one year and a few months of no action. I mean, even before that, I don't know how often I used to post on this channel. But like I said, I kind of have gotten used to the... To the grind let's call it of posting often in, on youtube and given my objective of wait, where am i going ah, what is this for i don't remember um Peter suit point oh man i forgot about those that's right okay so oh and i haven't been upgrading my guns man jesus all right is this the one Yes, so I got one of those. I remember these were the good ones, right? Yeah, Ice Bomb, because that thing takes forever to reload. Or I could do Frag Grenade, Environment, uh, less damage from toxic stuff for the rat suit, immune damage from barrel explosion, that's useful. Uh, barrels that have exploded will respond once after a short duration. Barrels will leave behind some ammo when destroyed. That seems useful too. Uh, faster Lage grabbing monkey bars. That's a weapon. Oh, that's the one. Yes. Oh, but I need two. Uh, that refills more quickly. Okay, I'm going to wait to get a second one because definitely I think this would be the one to, to get. So, all right. Yes. Uh, now, uh, speaking of my uh, speaking of my weapons, let me start upgrading this thing. So how many points do I have? 15. Oh, then I should be able to do this whole thing, right? Uh, full auto, mode recovery, speed is... Yep. Yeah, I'm doing that. I'm doing this one too. And I'm doing that one as well. What do I need in order to get the mastery? Kill 15 pinkies with the full auto mode. Oh, really? That shouldn't be too difficult. All right, dope. And I still have some points. So let's start upgrading my my microwave. Uh, microwave beam charge time is reduced by 66%. Microwave beam targeting range is increased by 50%. All right, I'll get this one. Just because it's the more expensive one. All right, there we go. Guns upgraded. I'm ready to start my next mission. Let's go. See, I'm telling you, all of this is so, so, so alien to me now, but it's kind of fun. But yeah, so there, there's definitely... Expect more content. Again, obviously, the very first video that I wanted to post on the channel was the address of the question that a lot of people had with Karen Took. Um, but from here onwards, I don't know that I'm going to be talking about Karen Took that often. But that doesn't... I mean, you've seen this video. I keep on bringing like, Oh, but in Karantuk I did this. Ooh, I wish that... Blah, you know, so... I guess there's still a very good chance that Karantuk is going to continue to pop up in the conversation. So I'm not saying that I will constantly talk about it, but I'm not saying that I will not talk constantly about it. So basically, as I, as I said in the previous video, I make zero guarantees, but now I'm extending that to zero guarantees about anything. Who knows what I'm going to do? Never, how, do, how does the meme go? Never let your enemies know your next move. In this case, DBT says to himself, don't even let DBT know what your next movie is going to be. So, yes. Who knows? Ah, Jesus Christ. Okay, so, wait, wasn't there a caco here or something? Oh, no, maybe I'm thinking, no, maybe I'm thinking of the... 
Okay, so I was thinking, isn't there supposed to be a, a uh, pain elemental here? But no, I think I'm thinking of the... What were they called? Wait. Oh. There. Um, master levels? Is that what it was called? The the more difficult version of the levels? Uh, over here? Yes. Ah! And then over there. Yep. Oh, Jesus Christ! I'm fine. I know what I'm doing. I was I wanted to skip that animation, but now I'm thinking like maybe I shouldn't be skipping the animation. Cause man. Oh, that's the way that I was supposed to do it? Oh, who knows? Um this is kinda of fun to look at the Yeah, okay, I'm remembering the master version of this level, because I remember there's also a uh, what's it called? Tyrant. Oh god. A tyrant in here in that version of the, the level. Man, can I... Jesus Christ, my aim is so unbelievably bad. So yeah, I'm willing to say that from the from the times when I used to play this game at Tom Mini when the game came out, I feel like they definitely tweaked out the the microwave beam. It feels better now than it did before. Because I do remember before it was like, holy, it takes forever to, to weaken the enemy for it to explode. And then on top of that, it would eat so much ammo. There's a secret here, right? Ah! Okay, well. <clears throat> so what was the secret? Shooting this bad guy? Oh, or blowing this up? Well, that one, maybe. Yes, there we go. Oh, for an extra life? Come on. Wasn't there another secret here? Or maybe it's... No, maybe it's further. Oh, this! This thing is a secret, isn't it? This thing right here. I'm telling you, I sort of remember, sort of. Not fully, but... Oh, that's not a secret. That's just a regular progression. Jeez. <laughs> okay, whatever. It's fine. No, wait. No, it is a secret. Is that a secret? I don't even know. Ah, whatever. Who cares? I'm just gonna go do it. Yeah, because this is gonna take me up there. And I'm gonna be able to collect this thing. That I don't know what it is for. Sentinel battery acquired. Maybe that's just regular progression. Ah, who knows. I know probably some of you guys might be thinking like, Jesus Christ, DBT. How can you have forgotten about something so basic? I know, I know. This is the life of the old man. Enjoy your youth. That's all I can say. The only advice that old man DBT can give you. Um... Is it here or is it later or is it in the master version that there's some some mancubus over there? Mancubi? I don't know. I've heard more and more things like, oh no, you shouldn't say octopi. It is actually octopus. Like, okay, well, now I'm more confused. My time an end. Let's see if you're strong enough to survive this cursed season. Oh yes, I need to kill Pinkies with that thing. I, I gotta remember that because I would like to master it. Oh, I, I gotta say, I don't know if I ever talked about it. Maybe not. But in Karen Took, I think it makes sense because obviously Doom Doom 2 maps tend to have a lot more monsters than monster. I mean, than Doom Eternal, for example. Like the monsters in the screen, I mean. So the the auto full auto shotgun has a little bit of additional not functionality, maybe yes functionality. I don't know. And it helps a lot with uh, monsters, with a crowd of monsters. So there is that. Can you guess what it is? L let me just put it this way. Let's say that it's good for crowd control, but not if they're in a circle. Huh? huh? Is that is that a good hint or is that a bad hint? I don't know. I think you can make up what I mean by that. But oh well. And speaking about of giving you a little bit. Oh yes, I knew there was a mancubus somewhere. Um. Oh, wait a second. I can just lure him here. Yes, I remember this. Boop! Nice. Um, speaking of giving you a little bit of info or easter eggs. Because, again... Oh, yeah, there was there were a couple of monkeys. Because, like I said, I, I was incredibly pleasantly surprised at the reception of you guys. You guys have earned something. But I'm not going to make it easy for any random person to, to find it. So... 
I'm gonna show you a a a video, a small video of of something like I was like I said in the previous video. I was still developing stuff for the mod even in 2023, despite the fact that I have been silent for many months. And to prove that, I'm gonna give you the link to a video, uh, a, a development video. So this is what I showed the team as I was working on stuff um, of something. But I'm not giving it to you in this video. Instead, if you want to find it, you have to go to the to the description of... Actually, let me think. Aha, I got it. I know where. Go into the description of the micro showcase for the shield soldier. And over there, you'll find a link to an unlisted video where I will show you something that hasn't been seen before in Karen 2 because I've never made any on any stuff on it. Again, it's something that I was working on last year. But you will see that there definitely has been some progress in that sense alone. Now, don't share this to people, all right? This is this is a, a, a reward that I'm giving you guys for watching a nonsensical talk through up to this point for also obviously for you guys being patient and whatnot. So I don't want this video to go out there. Uh, I'm not going to make it public public because I don't, you know, this is this is just for you guys, for the for the for the people that I'm proud to call my 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 small doom community and uh yes there you go so i hope you enjoy again you're gonna find that in the description uh the link you're gonna find it in the description for the showcase of the shield soldier you can look it up like that micro showcase shield soldier go to the description and you'll find the unlisted video and if you watch the video leave me a comment in that video telling me whatever you it is you want to tell me um but yeah please don't share the video outside of this keep it as a secret between us between the this guy making nonsensical videos and you guys watching nonsensical videos. So, yes, it's my thank you for, for all of that. <laughs> and again, it's in a way a little bit of a way to show that um, work work was done. And like I said, uh, it's it's uh, and you will be able, able to tell, by the way, because you'll see that the, the video was published whenever it was, well, not published, but it was uploaded whenever it was. Whoa, what just happened? Okay. So the video was published whenever it was, because I don't remember exactly when it was, but it definitely was in 2023. So yeah, that should tell you that how indeed I had been working on stuff. But like I said in the previous video, stuff got in the way. Oh man, does this not open until I pick it up? I don't want to pick it up. No, I'm stuck. Yep. Damn it. Um, but yeah, that should that should work as a little bit of proof that indeed. Um, I'm not I'm not making stuff up, right? I'm not. I'm not bullshitting you with no 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 I promise I was working on stuff. I was working on stuff, but again, shit got on the on the way and whatever. Oh well, I still gotta I gotta say, oh Jesus Christ! Just yesterday, from the time that I'm well recording and publishing this video, I got even remember I said that I was like 90 to 95% um out of my IRL situation. I think I was at 90%. I think now I'm legit at 95% and man, that just makes me happy because I'm getting closer to getting out of the pickle, and that's that's always a good thing. Uh-huh, got no ammo, so we should probably do this. So yeah, do let me know also what you think about the duration of videos over here. Because I legit, I'm, I'm out of... Mm. I'm gonna let them kill me, because I should have died there. I don't feel I deserve an additional chance, because I don't like extra life. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm out of out of sorts over here in, in knowing what is a good duration for a video because again, I haven't done this in so long that who knows anymore. Yeah, I got him. Um, but yes, and I wanted to wait until the second video precisely to give you a sort of quote unquote proof. It's not necessarily proof, you know what I mean. Um, show you a little bit of an advance, an exclusive advance only for the people who are willing to put up with my nonsense <laughs> with my nonsense in this video so there you go um all right oh wait someone's still alive yes you are beautiful and that's where i'm gonna leave it for this video if you enjoyed it you know what to do hit the like button all of that good stuff because we need engagement but that's all for now thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye bye